Hey! Hey, bud! You coming? Morris! Hi! The humidity is stifling out here. Good morning, everyone. Well, I didn't see any deer damage after putting out cinnamon everywhere. And I do mean everywhere yesterday afternoon. But there was um, my Japanese maple in the side yard. The Ruby Stars one. The Japanese beetles were on it last night. I'm just reaching up to kill a beetle. Um, and they did a good bit of damage. And the thing of it is, is that I came uh, out 5 o'clock time frame, 6 o'clock. And I really um, scrutinized all my trees and they showed up after hey, that. Good morning. How are you? Are you a good girl? Yes, I got sense from outside. I do. Good morning, sweet pea. Hi. Yes. Good morning. Hi, Panther. He goes, yeah, Mom. Oh, you got, you got a spider web on you. I'll help you out with oh, that. Oh, yeah. And it's starting to get ready for fireworks time because they put them off in ball field three down there. Yeah. So, yep. Power washing the tables and the picnic area. All these things they do to make it look great for the 4th of July. Oh, they've edged over here. But then the people of the town, they come in and it's a disaster afterward. I told Dawn, I said, He's picking up trash. A splash pad wristband. I'd just rather them clean it up after the 4th of July. Yeah, baby, let's go. <laughs> yeah, here. He was doing, oh, no, no, uh oh. No, not me. I'm all young and whippersnapper. <laughs> here, I'll get, step in beside you and start doing it too. <laughs> it's amazing how much difference that makes. Oh, here comes the street sweeper. The tornado. Yeah, let's He's make it, let's make it immaculate in through here. He's running it too. Let's make it immaculate in here. We, uh, you can see the difference between where they've been watering the ball field and not watering out here. And, uh, I'm praying for rain. Uh, they're putting off the fireworks in Fuquay on Monday the 1st. I don't know. Fuquay always used to be the 3rd. And then I guess one of the other local count towns decided the third, they were going to start shooting them off on the 3rd. And Fuquay does not want to have their celebration the same night as other local towns. Because they want you know people to come here if they're going to go through all this effort. That's just me saying that. But it sure seems that seems the logical thing. And... I don't know which other town decided they were going to do the third, but now Fuquay's had to move to the first to avoid other towns. And anyway, there's a knack for it raining right before the fireworks are supposed to go off. How many years we had them ruined, yeah. delayed? Uh, it's pretty common. Uh, it just seems to happen that way. But it's so daggone dry. We really need, you know, from a fire perspective, we really need it to, to rain. Well, well, this Weather guy said Sunday's a good, a better chance. Today is actually technically a chance, right? But Sunday, he said, is a much better chance. Yeah, well, today's chance was looking pretty good five days ago, and then it evaporated. Yeah, evaporated. yeah. and camp kids are headed to the picnic area for their morning snack and stuff. There's the snacks on the cart, and uh, their picnic area is not usable right now. See over here, they've put up fencing around the new flower bed. I'm sure that was a necessary idea. Fries. No fries? I'm sorry. I found a dime and a little abalone shell ring. Might be sterling silver. Maybe. Well, the sweeper did come through here, and it does absolutely make a difference. South Park Community Center are putting up new letters on the building or they're reinstalling the letters that were there i don't know which well now that we're going to have a community center south south park and a community center north the one going in at the golf course we do need correct signage it's very important there's my watering helper 
Michelle will be along in a few minutes. The guys have a light day today. I think I said earlier, JB's last day, sadly. He's uh, headed to put gas in the truck and return some parts to Advance Auto and order some new parts or figure out what parts to order when he gets home. And The stuff for the um, Tempest weather station might arrive today. So Don said they might, that's a pretty small thing. They'll probably put that on if it does. They might go to the landfill. You're looking all cool with your hair up today. Let's see the purse. Do okay. I recognize the purse? Yes. See, Aww. Rapunzel from Twisted. And it is a lounge fly, it's just it's not a backpack. Oh my God, no, it's not a backpack. Michelle, what happened? I found it at TJ Maxx for like $34. Okay, so you had to do it. I got a whole bunch of, they had a whole bunch of Little Mermaid and what else did I get? Okay. And some other things. All right, well you're styling with it. Styling <laughs> oh, from Cracker Barrel? Uh -huh. Oh, yep. wow. It's a, it's a kitchen towel in case you can't tell. M Michelle says all the Halloween stuff starting to come out already. Wow. <laughs> but I do love black cat stuff all the time. It's so cute. It looks like a dress. Uh -huh. It looks like it needs a, you know, yeah, very cute. Thank you. We just dropped off our Thriftronic stuff. All I bought was a yardstick, an old school wooden yardstick. Nice lightweight, clearly marked. Never can tell when I, you know, might need to paddle somebody. Just kidding. Wow, imagine that big candelabra in black. I like it. I like it. I really need people to buy more decorated stuff for like for holidays from Kohl's and then donate it because it just I don't know the 4th of July patriotic stuff's just been kind of blah this year I don't think I've bought one new piece and normally I buy plenty if they have something to buy so we can't get in trouble but I have the tagger and it's a tagger I really like it it's real beeswax and it's a burner but the little bees they could used to be beefed up a bit they don't really they look they they're scary especially this one without the wings like they're ants and not <laughs> yeah, bees like termites. yeah they don't really look like honey bees. they have really nice mirrored trays $3.99 that is an excellent price Michelle and I well especially Michelle we like to use mirrors in our displays oh you gotta watch out for those carnivorous plants uh, I know <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave it here because it's really not gonna last outside and it's really not good for the birds but oh my god it's so cute. wow look at it the wedding dresses and the prom or uh, bridesmaid dresses apparently there's tuxedos coming too that they're gonna put out okay well there's still a couple chairs for the guys to sit but just saying last week the chairs were bigger they were better guy chairs yeah. <laughs> first off Michelle buys every tiki she finds and second off this one has a mermaid on it I mean really that is this is the second mermaid thing she's found today too. Very nice. Well, for me, it's Guardian Angel, but for Michelle, it's probably TJ Maxx. No? Well, yeah, no, no, she's talking about the mug. I'm talking about the- Oh, TJ Maxx? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nothing is really lost till mom can't find it. It's certainly true at my house. Not at mine, I lose everybody. No, um, who's the finder at your house? It just kind of appears. I think we have a house elf. I really do, because I put things away, but then they disappear, and I don't know where they go. Uh, this is a pretty nice little bench here, 65. I know I don't need another bench, but I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's just pretty nice, and they've got their 4th of July table all put together here. We're coming up on the end, and we don't have as much stuff as usual. Not because we didn't try. If I ever go missing, I would like my photo put on wine bottles instead of milk cartons. That way my friends will know to look for me. How about we put my picture on Lego boxes? <laughs> this is all I have, these four things. That's really, really sad. And this is a sad amount for Michelle, too. You had a good time, though, right? We did have an excellent time, an excellent time. There are two whole drops of rain on Ruby's windshield. You know what? just for the sake of how much we need rain. I don't even care if it pours on my clean car before I get to the house. Bring it down, Sky. bring it down. <laughs> oh, I'm in a better mood after spending some time with Michelle. Just the, the heat, the uh, lack of rain, the insects and the deer, it's really enough to, 
<laughs> wear a person down a little bit, I guess. Um, yeah, whatever, something else I was going to say, and I can't remember now. <laughs> I spent less than $20 at all three stores, Thriftronics, Little Angel, and the big store. Like I said, it wasn't a ton of stuff today. Um, but that's okay, because I save up for the weeks when it's more than I was expecting to spend, which does happen from time to time. So it ebbs and flows, ebbs and flows. Um, yeah. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Come on, fess up to me now. How many times have you been out and about in your local town and engaged FSD but forgot to navigate home or to your destination? And then you're like wondering why the car's not turning where you wanted it to turn. Um, yeah, I do that all the time because I know where I'm going. I forget to tell the car where I'm going. <laughs> so I was in FSD going past South Park, waving at the guys, putting up the plastic fencing at the street, the yard crew, and uh, just waiting for it to turn right onto Wagstaff. But oh no, because Marianne didn't remember to navigate home. So I put on the blinker and oh, by the way, putting on the blinker, the car doesn't, FSD's not listening to the blinker. So it's not like I can really, where I've done it too late or it doesn't work, I don't know which, but it didn't go to turn for me. So I had to hit the brake and get out of FSD. And then I, I just didn't get back in, but yeah. I would say multiple times a week I engage it and I've not navigated to where I'm going. Multiple times. Well, it kind of stopped there. A couple of sprinkles. The guys are back from the landfill. The GMC is back in its spot. Hi. Hello. Hello. So technically they can say it rained today, right? <laughs> I'm going to start building the Lego Tuxedo Cat and um, as you can see from this image here the inside is not all black and white which is good because that would be kind of boring and hard to see. Um, it's over 1700 pieces I think 1710 so it's not going to get done today. I, I guesstimate probably four days to be the most likely number of days it takes me to uh, Put it together so there's a big hunkin book but i'm probably going to follow online instructions there are 20 bags although i don't know none of them look super big um but yeah there's 20 20 bag numbers and um yeah i like to lay them out and then put them back in with the last one first so i can kind of reach in and grab out the next bag well, that's bags one, two, and three. One was the feet, two was the structure, and three went around the outside and on top with uh, some more. This thing is life-size. I mean, it's not a tiny build. There's my Govi. It's kind of like a rope light for the bridge. I don't know what Govi calls it, but it's super flexible. It's yeah. much more flexible than the old school rope light. Yeah. And it's more neon, right? It's a replacement for neon. It looks like neon. You it can do like neon-y neon. things All with it. All kinds of different, different colors. colors All the yep. patterns. It wiggles. You can make it look... And neon. you went to the landfill this morning because? Uh, yeah, just a You know, I was too too fast. <laughs> I should have procrastinated more. <laughs> My natural mode is procrastination. I'm stopping for the night. I got up to bag five. It's, um, it's really cool <laughs> how they've got it all piecing it together it's it's very nicely done and a lot of fun so far so um one fourth of the way through
Thank you.